right, welcome to the CE Tool Den. On this episode, we're going to be building a cart, a simple cart for my DeWalt 735 planer. Um, I'm just getting tired of moving it around, and it's heavy at 92 pounds. So I figured it was about time, and it's been a long time coming, to finally have a place for the planer to have its own home. And it's going to be on wheels, so I'll be able to move it around in my small shop and... Be, uh, be able to put it away so it's out of the way all right let's get to the build okay on this part of the video we're going to be cutting this sheet uh 35 an inch and an eighth because that's the capacity of my saw and then we're going to rip it in half so it's going to be even so this is going to be the top and like the bottom shelf for the cart so let's get cutting all right now that we have the two pieces cut equal like uh equal size pieces we gotta make sure that this cart is no higher than 34 inches uh, so it stays level because i'm going to be using my assembly table as a uh up feet table for the planer so the planer the planer uh, table for the 735 has to be even with this and after some measurements um, we gotta go 34 no higher than 34 inches on the cart including the, uh, the the table for the planer which is back there so I have to include all the measurements including the height of the casters all right, so we're gonna be cutting some uh, two by four now for some of the framing, uh, which we're gonna be cutting on the table saw and on the miter saw. All right, so get back to that. Okay, on this piece of uh, two by four, I'm gonna cut it roughly about eight inches uh, because with the wheels, the casters, um, I wanted a certain height from the bottom for the bottom shelf uh, for that half inch plywood because it's going to be a the top is going to be for the uh, the planer and then the bottom will be for storage so I'm going to do about an eight inch cut and I also account for the uh, the caster height to uh, my total height which would be close to 12 inches so we're going to make that cut on the miter saw. Okay, now we're gonna cut the leg posts. Um, I have a fractional uh, calculator on my cell phone. And so we're gonna need the outer dimensions of the outer legs uh, for the cart. It's gonna be 27 and an eighth of an inch. So that accounts for the casters and uh, the top of the uh, half inch ply plywood. So we're gonna be doing four of these uh, legs all right so this is going to be the outer leg of the portion so what we're going to do is we're going to like say with the casters we're going to put a piece of two by four here and we're going to screw it in and the caster will go just like that And then the plywood shelf will will sit on this. So I got to cut notches out on the uh, on some of that plywood with the jigsaw. And then it's going to be another bracing right here. And then the top goes here. And that should it's a simple cart. There's nothing special about it as long as it does the job. Um, we're also going to be uh, putting a, a brace here. And over here so the uh, like a frame so the plywood sits on top of the frame so it gives it more support so when I'm adding heavy items or planing heavy pieces of wood plus the weight of the planer you're gonna have uh, a good frame support on this so we'll get to it 
Okay, we have all the legs made, and now we're gonna use, uh, build the, the frame uh, for the shelves, for the uh, upper and lower shelves. And um, instead of buying two by threes, I just put uh, two by fours, and I'm just gonna split them in half and build the frame with half using half of the uh, two by fours. And I'm gonna do that for all the the top and the bottom shelving. So we're gonna get to it. step is we're going to trace uh, two by four on each corner and notch it out so when this slides down um, there's going to be a piece budding abutting this another two by four but this piece is going to be free so when it slides down this is for the the bottom shelf the top shelf we don't do that so what we do is trace this and then we're going to cut it with the jigsaw and we're going to do it to all four corners Okay, on this cut, um, I'm using a upcut uh, jigsaw blade, Diablo, because this is actually the bottom of the shelf. And uh, from when we ripped it on the table, so this is where we have taro. So this is going to be the bottom of the shelf. I'm just going to sand that down after. But uh, the other side is the smooth, smooth side as far as the taro is concerned. So I went with an upcut blade. So when we do have the tear out, uh, we'll have the tear out on this side. Okay, here we go cutting. <coughs> Excuse me. By the way, this jug's jigsaw is awesome. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on this one later on. Okay, now I'm going to uh, sand all the tear out edges from the table saw and the jigsaw with the Milwaukee Orbital Detail Sander. So we're going to do that. I have 80 grit. I'm not going to go through the grits because, like I said, this is a basic cart and I just want it to be basic. I'm not doing anything fancy with this. It's going to do its job just to hold what I need to hold.
Okay, uh, tool does its job. A little bit dusty in here, but perfect for the job. You don't need an orbital sander. You could use an orbital sander. Um, I want to use as minimal as possible, and this is minimal. Perfect. Uh, detail sander. Great job, Milwaukee. All right, so we are done with this part of the phase. We have one more piece of wood to cut, and that's going to be the part that goes from the top shelf the bottom of the top shelf all the way to the top above this so we're going to cut a piece out of 2x4 that's going to sit on top of this from here and then the top shelf will be up top of it and that'll be the final so we got to take some measurements and I'll be back right back right, right back okay we now have officially cut all our pieces I'm going to be using spax screws uh, and we're going to be using trim head screws for the framing because those pieces are thinner for the wood so let's get to it all right here is the frame the beginning of the frame we're going to pair up the milwaukee the brand new m12 uh hammer drill and the craftsman impact driver with speed setting i'm going to put it on speed setting too we're going to pre-drill and i have these two and a half inch trim head screws um uh, they take a t10 bit and we're going to put the first two screws here and go along. I have a little mark here for the center of the frame. And the center pieces are going to go in here. And then we're going to put one in the end. And that will be the frame for the, for the uh, bottom. Okay, we're going to make our first drill hole. second it's always good to pre-drill especially when using smaller pieces of wood because you don't want to crack the wood so trying to be as gentle as possible go putting it speed one these screws are very small so don't doesn't need a lot of power especially with the speed drill and we sunk them in good and that should be nice and tight Okay, we officially have the frames done for the cart. So we have two sets of frames, which is nice. And now we're going to start putting the lights together. We're going to be using uh, two and three inch Spax exterior screws. Um, mostly going to be using the three inch, uh, but at some point I'm going to be using the two inch. And then I'm also going to be screwing the tops in. Um, most likely with the specs, but I haven't decided yet. I might just use a deck screw. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. But we're going to be using the 3-inch the for most of the... Putting it together, the assembly. So, but we have the frames. Okay, so we're going to do... Uh, Pre-drill first, which I already started. I got four holes pre-drilled, one, two, three, four. And for this one, we're gonna use the two inch spacks and it takes a T20 bit. So I pre-drilled Craftsman. I'm gonna put it on speed two. Perfect. Nice and 
this one in a little bit more. Okay. All right, so at this point, we added the support brackets that go over the bottom shelf. This is the bottom shelf. This is the top. This is where the casters are going. Uh, Assembly is going right along. And we'll be done very soon. Okay, at this point I have most of the rolling thing assembled. Now it's just the top and then the, the casters. I didn't tack on the bottom shelf yet, so I'm, I think I'm going to use a uh, couple of screws and screw them down. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe like six screws. I think I'm going to use uh, uh, wood decking screws. These are smaller, easier to work with. And with the spacks, you got a little bit of a rounding where the... The, the decking screws have a flat top head, so it'll sink nicely. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, we have officially put the tops on. Everything's screwed in. All nice. If I ever want to take it apart, I can. But now comes time for the caster. And then this job will be done. I may put a, a spray, a lacquer spray on it to finish it. But this is pretty much what it's going to be. It doesn't have to be special. It just has to be useful. And useful it will be. So I'm going to do the casters right now. All right. Casters are in. Free flowing. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Putting the... The Walt Planer 735. 92 pounds. That's heavy. But now have a home for the planer. Oh, this is nice. The planer has a home. Here we go. And then these wheels, these casters are from Harbor Freight and they do have the step on brake. So you can you can put the, the lever down with your foot and it doesn't have to go anywhere and it can be stationary so yeah this is definitely the way to go big beast over here all right if you like this video uh like subscribe hit the bell icon for more videos uh that you get notifications on share it i'm on instagram ce tool den uh thank you for joining me on this uh cart video build and have more exciting videos coming up so thank you very much